All right, in this video, I'm going to cover some more aspects of creating videos, specifically how to create slides faster if you have a list of images and um, text, etc. So um, let's go ahead and create a new video. So we'll do that by clicking this new video and call this number two. And uh, let's uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this different. Let's go to back to my videos. Leave the page. Let's start with using our first one as the beginning because I want to keep the same, these same things, the background and all that. So we'll save a little time. Let's go into the slides and let's um, let's keep the intro slide and the ending slide. And then let's get rid of this middle one. If I just click it and hit delete. All right, now what I want to show you is batch create. So if we click this, a little window pops up. It says we can uh, create multiple slides at once if we enter text using this format with uh, the slide titles first, followed by the duration in seconds. So you see slide one and then five, followed by the image URL then the text that's on the slide, and then the speech for that slide. <clears throat> okay, so uh, one, a simple way to do this is use something like Excel. And I've got this as an example. Uh, I've got just a couple, couple slides here. Let's go ahead and do one more. Nah, let's just stick with two. Let's keep it short. And I grabbed a couple of pictures online. I think they're of a house. <clears throat> here's my text for the um, for the picture and then here's the speech okay so obviously this is just junk text here you can type pretty much whatever you want and then as many as you want but of course you don't want the video to be too long and uh, usually you know 10 or so pictures is plenty uh, to keep you in about a one minute range on the video so once you have this set up all you have to do is if you just highlight these click and drag and then copy, hitting Control C. Now, if I go back into here, go back into the batch create, and I can just click here and hit paste. There are my settings, and now I just hit create slides. There it is, slide one, slide two. If you drill into these, you'll see that there's the picture, there's the duration. These just default to whatever the other slide, the first slide here. Some of these settings are you don't want to have a huge text file these will just default to whatever else you're using up here like the first slide in the intro um, then there's the text the slide text and then there's the speech portion and um, now let's go take a look at the second slide same thing okay so now let me bring my ending back down and let's just preview one of these. Let's see what we got. This is the slide text to speech. Okay, so we have the text to speech, we have the uh, the watermark stuff from before and all that, and then we have the second one we did. Garage speech. <laughs> okay, not too creative there, but there you go. All right, so now let me show you a couple other tricks. Let's say that this, let's say for example, you want to use the male voice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change one of these. I want to go in here and hit uh, English, or let's use the UK, English female. All right, so now if you have a number of slides here, it'd be kind of a pain to go into every slide and change this for all of them. Uh, anytime, there's a little trick, anytime you have your mouse over, one of these labels and you see this little title pop-up that says control click to apply the setting to all slides okay so I want to change the text-to-speech to this UK English female for all my slides so if I hold down my control key and click I've updated it now so if we go to slide number two we should see UK English female there we go now that'll work for anything if you get that little cursor uh, it doesn't work for everything because you probably don't want the same text on every slide but you might want the volume the same and the silent setting so let's say I want a second here two seconds here control click control click 
And now if I go to slide one, speech, we see the same settings here. This also works for the text. Let's say uh, a lot of the settings here. Uh, I'll stick with Arial, but maybe I want it to be a little bit bigger. Go to 40. Click this to adjust text all the way across. Now the text on all the slides is set at 40. All right, so let's go ahead and take a preview of this. It can take a while to load the audio files and stuff depending on how big it is. This is the slide text to speech. This is the UK accent. Garage speech. Garage. Okay. Here we go. Um, now, uh, in another video, I'll show you the import. The Facebook settings are very similar. You can do things even faster if the images are available publicly on Facebook. They cannot be private. Um, they cannot be private uh, images. Let's let's go ahead and publish this. So, since we based this video off the previous one. I'm going to we're going to have all these same settings as before so we'll tweak that a little bit go ahead and hit let's publish to YouTube and we'll see it show up in the queue here in a second and then uh, that'll be done in a little bit and then um, I'll be able to see what this looks like okay so um, that was one way to speed things up so we could do the batch import we can also, of course, republish videos that are already created. We can create templates. There's so many ideas you can use for this. You could, for example, create uh, a, a really nice video slideshow effect for dentists with dental um, you know, slides and stuff. And then all you have to do is tweak the text or the logo or the watermark a bit to, um, to do um, one for whatever dentist you come across so so in a couple of minutes you could have another video for another dentist somewhere uh, and then of course you can pick any niche and do this over and over and over again okay so that's it for this one and another one I'll cover the Facebook some of the Facebook importing stuff